And welcome to Mallorca, welcome back to the Best Centre. This is the weekend of the 20th of March and we'll start with the news this week that Yulia Efremova has tested positive again. Uh-oh, that looks like a lifetime ban. Not long back from a 16-month ban for the steroid DHEA, the Olympic bronze medalist and world champion Efremova has tested positive for meldonium. Sound familiar? It's the same drug that tripped up Maria Sharapova and 99 others. Apparently, the 23-year-old has been suspended by the Russian Federation. Now, remember the glorious British successes in Berlin at the 2014 European Championships? Well, fully 18 months later, two British world records that were set have finally been ratified. Adam Peaty on the 50 breast, and then Fran Hassal, Peaty, Chris Walker-Heaven, and Gemma Lowe on the 4x1 mixed medley relay. Both records have subsequently been bettered, but better late than never. They and many others were in Edinburgh for the international meet this week. Double world champion PT tops the world rankings in the 100 breast with his 59.5, while Denmark's European champion Mir Nielsen raced a second in the world rankings in the 100 back. Olympic champion Ranami Kromowidioyo of the Netherlands racked up wins in the 50, 1 and 200 free. And Plymouth's Ben Proud continues to impress with his wins in the 50 and 100 free. 21.77 in the 50, just outside his British record, but ranks him fourth in the world. Elsewhere, Georgia have won the Women's NC2A Championships for the third time in four years. The Bulldogs pit runners-up Stanford by just 19 points. Stanford will be kicking themselves after losing 40 points with their DQ in the 200 free relay on day two of the competition. And finally, it's trial season. First up, the Spanish, whose trials are underway at the moment. We'll bring you all the news you need in the next programme. Now, as you know, we're partnered with the German Triathlon Federation. And there are many triathlon camps and clinics of the town this week. We asked the chief executive, Matthias Sol, about the benefits of, to the DTU of choosing the best centre. Quite simple. We know this place here for about seven years already and our athletes yeah, had a great experience of running in the, in the wood here and of course in the beautiful pool which is behind me. Now our uh, national team is here for preparations for Rio 2016 and I, I guess the uh, uh, conditions here are nearly ideal for triathlon. As well as the road, roads here are very, very, very calm, not a lot of traffic. You can do also on the mountains, which are around here, Randa and San Salvador, some, some good work on the climbing. Yeah, that's why we choose uh, also this place for a partnership where our me members could benefit of. Consistency is in triathlon the key word in my opinion and so plan your uh, training camp carefully and stick to the rules and maybe get some advices from a good coach which is around here as well. If you come here for two weeks, you want to train 40 days, uh, you need to think about rest days as well. Well that's it for this week, enjoy the montage, we'll see you next time. in the sky gazing far into the night i raise my hand to the fire but it's no use because you can't stop it from shining through it's true baby let the light shine through if you believe it's true baby won't you let the light shine through